Sunrise on the newly revamped Geraldton foreshore. What a way to greet the morning. Geraldton's location, four hours drive to the north of Perth, makes it a relatively easy getaway. And once you get here, it's jam-packed with things to do as well. Think wildflowers in spring, the most amazing war memorial I think I've ever seen, and beautiful examples of early Western Australian architecture. Back to the foreshore, this transformation of the space has attracted a whole raft of quirky little foodie joints like the Beach Barrel. And this place is just buzzing in the morning, which is the perfect time to be down here before that wind that Geraldton is so famous for sets in. It's also the perfect time to enjoy an adrenaline pumping tour of the local coastline. I just have to finish these first. Ultimate Water Sports is run by local boy Lindsay Cannon, who swapped his tractor for a jet ski recently and couldn't be happier. So Lindsay, why the change from farming to down here? Well, um, why wouldn't you do this? You know, like it's it's a beautiful area, and um, you know when we started this, they, they were doing this sort of thing 20 years ago. Just the tubing uh, it used to be real fun as a school kid, so you know we decided to bring it back and add another dimension to the foreshore. And it seems he's a winner. The kids love it, especially when there's a toy like this around. Or perhaps you'd like to see the foreshore from a bit higher up. My choice this morning, a tour of the coastline on one of these babies, once I figure out how to turn it on. Just kidding. Look, these jet skis obviously have a bit of power, so if, like me, you've never driven one before, the tour starts with a lesson in calm waters, and then we're off. First stop, Seal Rock, which should really be named Sea Lion Rock. It's a popular spot to visit, but a lot easier to get here on the jet skis. Although today I'm told it's actually playing nice. A little further along is WA's first all steel lighthouse, the Point Moore Lighthouse, and it beams its light 26 k's out to sea to warn boaties of the dangers of these rocks. And then there's a chance to jump over the side and do some exploring underwater. Back on the jet ski, time for a last bit of fun before heading for home for a well deserved rest. Although Lindsay is having none of that. way to experience Geraldton. Thank you very much. No worries. Great well, day. I've got something else in mind if you'd like to have a look. All right, it's a holiday. Later on, take me to it. <laughs> I'm thinking I shouldn't have had that extra donut. Oh well, you only live once. And if you're looking for the ultimate way to enjoy the waterfront in Geraldton, 